Dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel, MCBCM2. This is an online chemistry tutorial, and you get my previous video on various topics from my personal homepage or from my YouTube channel. So, we were discussing in part basic concepts in organic chemistry. This is my fifth lecture series. And in this particular lecture, I would like to discuss with you reaction intermediate free radical and its structure, stability, and generation and reactions. So, what is reaction intermediates? Usually, reaction intermediates are formed by homolytic or heterolytic bond fission, which can result in the formation of very short lived that is transient species and this transient species is highly reactive and it quickly converted into product and these are the examples carbocation carbanion these two are discussed already and free radical today we are going to discuss about this intermediate that is free radical okay so what is free radical actually it is a carbon atom bearing one usually or more unpaired electron so because of this unpaired electron it shows paramagnetic behavior this is called free radical so carbon atom with one unpaired electron so how does it generated usually generated by homolytic cleavage and this is have short of having short of one electron to complete of that so it is electron deficient and charge in carbocation it is positive charge carbanion is negatively charged but this is uncharged and of course all, like all other intermediate it is very short lived having transient existence and directly not observable and it is highly unstable species and very reactive so you can see the difference between free radical and carbanion and carbocation usually this is having seven electron on reduction of this free radical it get one more electron in form carbanion so it is having eight electron this is on oxidation that means it lose one electron it form carbocation from this diagram you can understand the the electronic uh, you know the uh, difference in electron of or number of electrons in free radical carbocation and carbonic so how does free radical get generated there are many methods one important method is thermal cleavage so what type of molecule undergo thermal cleavage a molecule with the ch bond dissociation energy value is in the range 80 to 170 kilojoule per mole usually dissociate by heating that is thermal cleavage so for example as your benzene sorry so compounds on he you know on heating on thermolysis it can undergo uh, you know homolytic cleavage and it form free radical okay next one for the second one photochemical cleavage photochemical cleavage usually occurs with a you know molecule with a bond uh, a ch bond with the dissociation value in between 200 to 400 kilojoule per mole so example for photochemical bond cleavage is the dissociation of chlorine uh, into chlorine radical and ketone into you know this carbonyl radical and alkyl radical in vaporphase is also an example for photochemical cleavage the third one decomposition reaction what is decomposition reaction it is actually a decomposition of already formed the radical into another radical so this is the already formed radical this can decompose to another radical like this 
by releasing carbon dioxide. So next one, what is the structure of free radical? So let us understand the number of electron. It was a sword number of electron. Then this is an electron deficient and it is uncharged and contains seven electron. That is most important. It contains seven electron in our own shell. So what would be the hybridization? We already seen in carbocation it is a you know so sp2 hybridase and carbanion having eight electron is sp3 hybridase. This is also having short of electron seven electron that will be also sp2 hybridase. And the shape is not exactly trigonal planar, but there is some deviation in planarity because of this odd electron. And this some textbook you can say shallow pyramidal structure. So this is the structure. You can see this there are one s and two p orbital, and it form sp2 hybridized two orbital, and there will be three hybrid such orbital, and these three hybrid orbitals will be making for C you know overlap with the hydrogen and form CH bond. And the seventh electron which will occupy in MTP orbital this is the top view and this is the side view of free radical. So here I have given that out of seven six electron are used for making three CH sigma bond with almost a point angle 120 and unpair electron of pair at empty orbit. <laughs> Next, let's discuss the stability of free radical. There are three electron factors which determine the stability. First one is inductive effect, second one is hyperconjugation, third one is resonance effect. Now let us consider the first one inductive effect. This is a free radical. And when you attach an electron donating group into this free radical, usually what happens? This electron donating group donates electron density to the free radical. So this is an electron deficient species. So it is donating group donating density to electron deficient center. What happens then? Delocalization occurs. Charge delocalized. Get delocalized. Always delocalization leads to the stability. Okay, then suppose you have an electron withdrawing group, it again increases the charge. That means it attracts the already this is an electron deficient. Then it get it again attracts the charge. That means it become more deficient. That means the it increases charge on carbon, then the, it, uh, the, there is a destabilization of free radical. Now delocalization occurs here. So if it is like that, if this is the law, what would be the stability order of this tertiary, secondary, and primary and methane, which will be more stable? Of course, tertiary will be more stable. Why? Because it has free tonating group. So it increases you know, the, the, the tonation. So it has only two, it has only one tonating group. So more tonating group it is. So based on inductive effect, the stability order will be like this. Second factor that is hyperconjugation. What is mean by hyperconjugation? Actually, in some MTP orbital can interact with the, you know, the beta carbon, that is the next carbon with the hydrogen. This electron density can donate to this empty orbital or with a pi orbital. Such interactions are called hyperconjugation. Okay, if this is sigma p interaction, right? Okay. So in ideal radical, you can see such hyperconjugate effect. So this beta carb hydrogen atom can donate electron density to here. That means such delocalization occurs. So here you have a three hydrogen atom, such hydrogen atom, all three hydrogen atoms can interact in such a manner. So this is the hyperconjugation, you know, resonance stabilization, usually represented by like this. It is no high bond resonance. You cannot see bond here. 
So, uh, so based on this hyperconjugatory effect, how can you explain the stability of tertiary, secondary and primary? So in tertiary there are such how many alpha beta hydrogen atoms are the nine? So all nine can interact such way and it can in you know delocalize the charge. Here you have only six hydrogen atom, here you have only three hydrogen atom. There is no beta carbon here. So more stable will tertiary will be more stable. Last one resonance effect. So in resonance effect, you can see here. When you compare the stability of these two compounds, ethyl radical and you know, propyl, uh, propinyl radical, this will be more stable because this radical is resonance stabilized. You can uh, show the resonance structure. And when you compare these two, this one is more stable because this radical is resonance stabilized like this. So this is more delocalization occur in these two cases overlap such delocalization is shown here and reactions of free radical there are some uh, sort of reaction first example is abstract it can radical can abstract atom or group of atom like this it can abstract this hydrogen with it form an, usually it occurs in chain initiation step, step and propagation step or termination step you will see you might be now in many ex such a examples. Second reaction is radical can be added to multiple bond like this. You can see here this multiple bond. So example for such reaction is addition of HBr to alkene. There are many other reactions too, but we are not discussing. So in summary, free radical uh, reaction intermediate we have learned and Free radicals are electron deficient species, contains seven electron, it can act as an electrophile, and hybridization is sp2, and order of stability of carbocation is, uh, you know, methyl is less stable than primary, which is less stable than secondary, which is less stable than tertiary. And what are the electronic effect plus I effect, the hyperconjugation, and resonance effect are the phenomena which determine the stability and uh, uh, free radical reaction can undergo various types of reaction such as a dynamic extraction and addition to multiple parts. Okay, that's all about this topic. Thank you for watching.